In this screencast, we're going to talk about the difference between a direct relationship and an indirect relationship. You will sometimes see in um, various text sources, indirect is also known as um, inverse. So don't be confused if you see somebody reference inverse. Uh, these are the same thing. All right, so let's look at this graph that we're given here. On um, the left side, we have pressure, and on the bottom, we have volume. And in the red, you can um, you can see if we were up here, we have that the pressure is high, and the volume is low. That would be if we were right here. And over here, we can see that as the volume is high, the pressure is low. So when you have um, one variable is increasing and the other is decreasing, this is an indirect relationship or an inverse. Okay, And these can be vice versa. So you can see that um, in this case if we had written it with pressure first we would see that the pressure is going down and the volume is going up. Um, it makes it a little bit easier to see that they are truly opposite directions. All right, so here's a different graph, and you can see that on the um, left we have volume, and on the bottom we have temperature. And you can see if we were to pick a point um, here, we have a volume that is low, and we have a temperature that is also low. And if we were to pick the point here, we can see that we have a volume that is high, and we have a temperature that is high. And since these um, variables are in agreement, this is considered to be direct. So as we increase one, the other increases, and vice versa, if we decrease one, the other decreases.